So I'll just do this video as a follow up to my growing espaliered apple trees. Um, as you can see this tree is now two and a half, three years older than it was in that last video. Maybe four years, I'll have to check. Uh, you can obviously go back to that old video and see. Um, it's matured a lot. Um, it can hold a lot more fruit. Um, these are nice big grocery store size apples and um, it's, it's pretty loaded down as you can see. Um, it no longer has to have supports to hold each arm of the espalier. The, the, the size of the branch is large enough that it can uh, handle the load of the fruit um, to most extent. I do have a, a little bamboo in here where I hold them up a little bit, but that was really mostly for last year. Uh, this tree has continued to be heavily pruned, as you can see, so the fruiting is close to the main trunk, or main arm of the espalier. The trunk obviously is here. Um, and by doing that heavy, heavy you know, pruning in the summer and the winter, and uh, mostly, mostly summer pruning actually, um, it keeps the fruiting spurs nice and close to that trunk, keeps the foliage tight, and allows you to grow nice big fruit. Um, obviously, I need to come in here and prune this down a little bit. Uh, it's getting a little bit out of hand, but uh, overall, it's been a huge success having this apple tree. We've harvested great uh, apples every year, and we would definitely buy another one. I actually have uh, three more, and um, it's it's so easy to work on because it's right here. You don't see any disease on this tree or anything. Um, really, the main thing I would say is make sure you clear out the bottom of the tree from grass. Um, put some down, some mulch and do apply a little bit of fertilizer each year. Not heavy nitrogen, just a, a balanced fertilizer, um, a slow release fertilizer, and that'll allow your tree to, to be healthy. And then just come out and periodically check it for any kind of bugs or issues. Um, but because it's such a healthy tree, you really don't have as much problem with that. And it's also not 10 feet tall, so you can see every apple. I thin this apple tree heavily. Um, this apple tree set five times, maybe 10 times the amount of fruit that you see here. I had to thin it heavily so that you get apples that are the size of grocery store apples, which is just so much more convenient for eating, not dealing with these little tiny apples. So, as you can hear, it's raining here uh, in this August 20th day. So I will uh, head back inside. 